As an associate professor of Earth and Oceanographic Science at Bowdoin College, Michelle Levine teaches students from all backgrounds about how climate change is affecting our oceans. But she also sees the value in science communication, not just with her students, but also with the community she lives in. Michelle joins us now to talk about her work. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So tell me about what you've been doing in science communication, how you're trying to push this idea forward even more. Since I've kind of progressed through my career as a faculty member at Bowdoin College, I have become more and more interested in thinking about how to kind of expand the impact of the work that I do as a scientist and as an educator and living in Maine as well. I'm an oceanographer and so there's a strong connection between the local community and economy and the environment in particular in the ocean. And so I've been more and more interested in thinking about how this, not just the science that I do and the articles that you know, my students and I produce might impact the scientific discipline, but how that science could inform um, or could benefit you know, local communities, policy, and kind of expand the reach of my impact and share that with my students a bit. So this is more cross-disciplinary in some ways, like we're talking about economics, we're talking about, um, you know, communities and like and actual science policy. It's not just like pure unadulterated science and just trying to communicate that to people. Yes, and also a lot of what I've learned through doing it is that it's about building relationships and connections and trust with partners either through um, you know, local organizations or with policymakers, um, and so we're very much focused on the fact that we are scientists and we are experts in the scientific areas, but also respecting the expertise of other um, partners and um, members of you know the shellfish industry, for example, and recognizing that they have a lot of understanding the ocean and a lot more experience out on the water than you know many of us who do science have, and so, you know, really trying to build relationships and projects together um, to support communities or listen to policymakers, you know, what's the data that's missing in order to, um, you know, enact a certain policy, you know, how could we work together to, you know, get the data that we would need to fill those data gaps. And in your experience in Maine and talking about oceanography, like, are you finding these connections and these sort of, you know, maybe not a top-down approach, but sort of like a collective approach effective and useful to your own research? So I work on ocean acidification, which part of my research is about that, which is the fact that the ocean is absorbing you know, a good portion of the CO2 that humans are emitting to the atmosphere, and that's changing the chemistry of the ocean and making it more acidic, making it harder for things that build shells to build those structures. And so there's a clear connection to the shellfish industry, for example, in Maine. And so when I arrived in Maine, um, I was invited to join a group that was a collaboration between state legislators, scientists, community members, lobstermen, fishermen, and nonprofit organizations together that were just having conversations about what needs to be done and kind of forging a path together. So I was fortunate to um, step into that, have that be the first step that I could take in my um, research in this area. Yeah. Are you also working with other scientists and sort of pushing them in, in this direction too? Yeah. So that's where um, I you know, really got interested in it at the state level in Maine. And it actually through support from AGU and the science policy group, there's a lot of support through their trainings and um, workshops and programs that help scientists think about um, connecting their research to federal policy as well. So I got started working with the uh, Voices for Science program as well as the Local Science Partners program that that um, group runs. And that really helps me connect with other geoscientists outside of me and other um, AGU members. We've gone around um, Capitol Hill and talked with our members of Congress about the research that we're doing locally and why it's important to our states and tried to connect that to um, federal policies as well. And so. That's how I've started to connect with other people that might be also working with their students or um, designing research projects that are connected to policy in some way that has helped, you know, a new way that I've kind of connected with other people through AGU. Yeah, this seems like it all fits really well with AGU's theme this year of open science. Absolutely, yes. Michelle Levine, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.